KOFO K279 CS Ottawa, where keeping you informed comes first. Stay tuned for the following special presentation from KOFO 1220 and 103.7 FM. KOFO, your sports source for East Central Kansas. Now on 103.7 FM, welcomes you to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclones Basketball Pregame Show. Whether it's residential, commercial, or restoration construction you need, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa at 785-229-5651. Now for a preview of this Ottawa Cyclone Basketball Broadcast, here's KOFO Sports Director Gary Bateman. And welcome to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show ahead of Ottawa Boys Basketball between Cyclones and the Tonga Noxy Chieftains after the Lady Cyclones falling tonight 62 to 38. Their record is now 0 and 2. Ottawa comes into tonight's action 1 and 0. An exciting game last week up at Kansas City Piper. Cyclones down double digits at the halftime. Put up a 31 point third quarter on route to an 87 77 victory over the Pirates while Tonganoxie lost in their opening game final to the Baldwin Bulldogs was 61-48 to in favor of Baldwin. Take a break. Come back with more. You're listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show here on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Anyone can call themselves a construction company, slap a sign on the side of their truck, and drive around town looking for work. Is that who you want to hire? No, you're smarter than that. Wise Guys Construction at 108 North Main in Ottawa has been in business for 13 years, building new residential homes, adding additions and finishing basements, solving commercial structure needs for businesses, and repairing damage left behind from fire or water. When it comes to who you hire for residential and commercial construction needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction at 785-229-5651. Thank KOFO Thanks for Giving project is now underway. This is an opportunity to help those less fortunate in our community to help drop off non-perishable food items, clothes, and toys to our Thanks for Giving pantries located at Family Life Chiropractic, The Gun Guys, Cosentino's Price Chopper, Neosho County Community College, and Thriftopia. Items collected for the KOFO Thanks for Giving project will be distributed to ECAN and Hope House. A big thank you to Midwest Cabinets of Ottawa for constructing the KOFO Thanks for Giving pantries. For more information, visit KOFO.com. Back here at the Tonganoxie Gymnasium. Good crowd on hand for this Friday night matchup between Cyclones out of the Frontier League and the Caw Valley League Tonganoxie Chieftains. Ottawa's won, won the last three in this matchup. And the Cyclones looking to go 2-0 and on the season with Topeka West coming to town on Tuesday night for the Cyclones' home opener. Game time for the ladies, 6 o'clock. The guys will follow at around... 7.30 or so, and now that action on KOFO. We'll remind you, tomorrow afternoon we have a big Ottawa University doubleheader from Wilson Fieldhouse. David Potter will bring you the play-by-play of the Braves and the Tabor Blue Jays. Uh, both teams up near the top in both uh, both uh, schools, rather, up near the top in both girls and boys play, the men and the women. The ladies will tip it off at 3 o'clock, and the guys at 5, and so our Wise Guys Construction OU pregame show begins at around 2.40 tomorrow afternoon. Again, David Potter has the play-by-play from Wilson Fieldhouse, Ottawa, and Tabor. Last Friday night, as I mentioned, the Cyclones lackluster first half, but came out on fire in the third period, and seniors Isaac McCullough and Perry Carroll combined for 59 of the Cyclone points in the victory over the Pirates. That's a good victory because Piper always has a solid basketball team, and I believe they've been looked upon as being one of the best in the state of Kansas in Class 4A Division One. We'll take a break right here, come back with more. You're listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Bill Crowley owner of Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa on what sets them apart as your trusted source for residential and commercial construction. We're not a handyman service. We're a professional licensed construction company. 
We're not only licensed in Ottawa. With our license, we can work anywhere. Which means? No matter what the project or where, you get a licensed contractor every time. We've been in business for 13 years. Our experience and customer service are what keeps us in business. Wise Guys Construction, 785-229-5651. Follow your favorite area high school or Ottawa University team with the KOFO Sports Guide. The KOFO Sports Guide features your team schedule. From football and volleyball to wrestling and basketball, golf, soccer, tennis, baseball, softball, and track. Pick up your free KOFO Sports Guide at these following locations. Keith King State Farm Insurance, Beckman Motors, Ottawa Family Physicians, QSI, Wise Guys Construction, Osage County Attorney's Office, Brandon Jones. Or check it out online at KOFO.com. Back here at Tongan Oxford, pass a few scores along that we have. These are certainly not an exhaustive list, but uh, Drexel's girls beat Prairie View tonight, 70-45-26. to Lewisburg's boys over Anderson County, 75-49. West Franklin's girls uh, beat Osawatomie, 61-32. And Baldwin's girls down Burlington, 71-46. to We'll send it back for... Uh, a quick spot break. You've been listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show, and you are listening to Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Thank you for listening to the Wise Guys Construction Cyclone Basketball pregame show on KOFO. Tip off is next. You know Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa as the premier residential and commercial construction company. But did you know they also provide full repair for fire and flood restoration? Here's Bill Crowley, owner of Wise Guys Construction. We offer full turnkey services from cleaning and drying to the repairs of your project. We're an insurance preferred contractor. When disaster strikes, experience matters. When it comes to your residential, commercial, or restoration needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction in Ottawa, 785-229-5651. KOFO, your sports source for East Central Kansas, welcomes you to this broadcast of Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 103.7 FM, 1220, and KOFO.com. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Modern Woodman Agent Dale Pearson, Hale Family Dentistry, Kansas State Bank, Adams and Brothers Heating and Cooling, Ottawa Recreation Commission, and by State Farm Insurance Agent Keith King, Ransom Memorial Hospital, Sutton's Jewelry, Franklin County Chiropractic, Car Star, Messengers Home Furnishings. Also by Dingle and Sun Mortuary, the Ottawa Herald, Wise Guys Construction, People's Bank. Ottawa Cyclone Basketball is also being brought to you by Ryan Dispro State Farm Insurance, Kramer Pharmacy, Ottawa Chiropractic, Performance Electric, Bones Transportation, and by Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Dale's Body Shop, the City of Ottawa, Cosentino's Price Chopper, Maxwell Chiropractic, Quality Structures Incorporated, and Great Life Golf and Fitness, Advantage Electric, and Remax Connections Agent Neva Smith. Now let's return courtside and once again join KOFO Sports Director Gary Bateman for Ottawa Cyclone Basketball. And back here at Tonganoxie High School, here are tonight's starting lineups, first of all, for the Cyclones. Number one, Davion Bise, a 5'10 inch junior. Number five, Drew Bones, he's 6'6", six six, the senior. Number 11, Chris Johnson, 6'4", and a junior. Number 23, Isaac McCullough, 6'4-inch senior. And number 30, Terry Carroll, 5'11", and a senior. The Cyclones 1-0 on the season. Our coach by Cliff McCullough and assisted by Evan Schaefer, Blake Lasley, and Rod Hedrick. For Tongan Oxy tonight, number 3, Keaton Rickard, a 5'10", senior. Number 10, Mason Beach, he is 5'9", he is a junior. Max Thompson, number 24, a 6'3-inch junior. Number 33, Michael Mass, he is 6'3", and he is a senior. And number 34, Chandler Caldwell, 6'3", a junior. Tongan Oxy is coached by David Hillman and assisted by Keaton Schaefer and Kenny McGee. Cyclones will be in red uniforms, black and white trim. Tongan Oxy in white uniforms with red trim. Cyclones will move us from the left to the right as we see it here in the first half of play. And those are your starting lineups. And we'll be back with the opening tip-off in two minutes. You're listening to Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. You've been in a vehicle accident. 
And now you need a rental car while yours is being fixed. When you choose Dale's Body Shop at 424 North Main in Ottawa, you can pick up and return your rental car at their shop. Dale's Body Shop, 242-6225. Since 1944, families of Franklin County have called Dingle and Son Mortuary and Crematory in their time of need. Why? Because of the peace of mind received knowing that Dingle and Son will take charge and exceed expectations. Visit DingleMortuary.com. This is Dr. Weston Zinner at Franklin County Chiropractic in Ottawa. We hope you're enjoying the game and remind you that whether you're an athlete or a weekend warrior, we can help relieve your pain for a better performance. Call 785-242-9393 for an appointment. This is Lou Baker at CarStar Ottawa. Our technicians are highly trained, iCar certified repair experts. We provide continued education for our employees and the latest equipment to ensure the highest quality repairs. We work hard at staying your number one collision repair shop. 1-800-CARSTAR. Relax, we'll take it from here. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, all you need is the sign of a REMAX agent and your real estate needs are taken care of. Neva Smith, your local REMAX agent, has years of experience and knowledge of the local market. Neva will work with you to get the results you're looking for so that buyer or seller Seller will not get away. Contact Neva Smith, your local Remax agent today at nevasmith.com or call 785-229-0504. Neva proudly supports the youth of today for the future of tomorrow and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. Back here at Tonganoxie High School, starters for Ottawa, Bethe, Bones, Chris Johnson, McCullough, and Carroll. For Tonganoxie, Rickard, Beach, Thompson, Mass, and Caldwell. Time for the... Cyclone tip-off sponsored by Bones Transportation, a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. It'll be Johnson jumping it up against Caldwell. Ottawa moving left to right as we see it here in the first half of play. Hope you enjoy the basketball action. It's going to be controlled by Tong and Oxy in backcourt. With the basketball, that's Beach giving it off to Rickard. Between the circles now, Thompson. Thompson with Carroll on him. Picks up his dribble, looks for somebody near the corner. Rickard, wide open for three. Missed the shot. Rebound inside, taken by Tong and Oxy. And pass, the shot is up in by Thompson. Carroll brings it up court for Ottawa. Tong and Oxy starts out in a 1 2 2 zone. Kala looks things over. Isaac moving some people around. Pass into the post to Johnson. Finds Bones underneath, and Bones will lay it in. Beach, the point guard for Tong and Oxy. Met at midcourt by Bise. Off it goes to Rickard. Now in the corner is Thompson. Thompson, a little give and go. Check that it's Thompson now. His shot was blocked. Ball on the floor, and will have a tie up position to Ottawa. Johnson with the block that time. And Ottawa gets the basketball back in backcourt. Carroll on the dribble. This is off to McCullough. Makes the three. Bounces it out to Carroll. Skip pass over to Bethe. Got away with the walk right there. Carroll between the circles. Free throw line Johnson. Johnson dishes inside the bones. He lost it momentarily. Got it back and scores. Four points early for Bones. Ottawa leads 4-2, 6.33 to play, first period. Beach lost control, but going to be fouled by Bethe. Debbie on Bethe with the foul. And it comes to Mass, who hands off to Rickard over to Beach. Beach skip pass to Caldwell. Caldwell driving through the lane, lost control, but it's picked up by Beach. He'll shoot it for three and miss. Rebound Carroll. Here's Carroll in a hurry the other way, and he threw it right past Beach, and it's out of bounds. Good idea, but the pass, and I'll say it was actually tapped out of bounds by a chieftain, so it'll be Ottawa's basketball. Bethe looks to get it in, does in the right corner to Carroll. Swings it outside to McCullough for a three. He's good. 7-2 Cyclones on McCullough's first points of the night. Across the timeline, Rickard. Rickard near the sidelines. Thompson 
Thompson got a pick from Mass. Takes it to the free throw line. Off it goes now to Beach. Beach gets it over to Caldwell. Caldwell has Johnson on him. There's Rickard traveling with the basketball. First turnover of the night. Cyclones back the other way. It's Carroll across the 10-second line. Looking to drive. And his pass is stripped and stolen. Here's a one-on-one. One. And it'll be shot by Beach. He missed. Rebound to Johnson. Back the other way to the Cyclones. Pull up three by McCullough. Off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound to Tonganoxi. Far sideline. Caldwell. Get pass to Rickard. Rickard looking to drive, nothing there. So between the circles, Thompson. Thompson left side, nearly had a stolen by Bethe and a traveling violation. Second turnover on the Chieftain. Carroll looks over at Coach Cliff McCullough for a play. Still a 1 2 2 zone for Tong and Oxy. Ottawa's tried to beat it on the inside a couple times here already. Here's Bethe with the basketball, bounces to Carroll. Carroll knifing through traffic, finds Bones inside once again, and Drew lays it in. Six for Drew Bones, 9-2 Cyclones, 4.48 to play in the first period. Rickard out near midcourt. And he threw the ball away. Was it touched by a Cyclone? They'll say yes, it was. Bethe got his hands on it. And we got a timeout call for by the Chieftains. 4.40 to play in the first period. It's Ottawa 9, Tonganoxi 2. Back in 30 seconds, this is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Technology, mobile banking. I totally heart my bank. Kansas State Bank. A better way to bank with community people you know. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. To protect your family and plan for your financial future, get to know your Modern Woodman agent. Hello, I'm Dale Pearson, your Modern Woodman agent in Ottawa, Kansas. Call me today at 242-6566. Modern Woodman of America, touching lives, securing futures. Ottawa leads 9-2, first time out of the ball game used here by Tong and Oxy. Chieftains will have the basketball. They'll inbound across the way here in front court. And it comes to a new man in the ball game, Isaac Freeze, Isaiah Freeze rather. Out be- Freeze out between the circles. Far sideline, Thompson. Thompson gives it up to Dylan Klydowski. Now Thompson. Back it goes to Freeze around to Rickard. Here's the Ottawa bench, Klydowski. Klydowski being hounded by Bisset. Gives it up to Thompson, who looks to drive on McCullough. He'll take it to the bucket and score with the left hand. No backside help that time from the Cyclones. Thompson has all four points for Tonganasi. Here's a skip pass over to Bisset. He'll tie the baseline. This is outside to McCullough. Three ball on the way. Six for McCullough. Ottawa leads 12-4. 3.50 to play in the period. Now Cyclones show some pressure, and Clydosti on the pass breaks it into front court. He'll throw up a shot no good. It's out of bounds. Oh, they'll say the Cyclones touched it last. Wow. Nobody touched that ball except the Chieftain. Beach comes back in along with Mast for the Chieftains, but it will remain Tonganoxi's basketball. Beach looking to get it in. Does along the baseline. Freeze with a jumper missing. Rebound Carroll. Here's Perry. One against three. Carroll into the lane. Layup with good with the left hand. And he's fouled. Foul called against Mac Thompson. First personal. First team foul. Caldwell will come back in. For Tong and Oxy, and Cooper Deal will see his first action for Ottawa High. Also, Caleb Schaefer off the Cyclone bench. First points of the night for Perry Carroll. He'll try to complete the three point play. Three 
for a tip is rimming in. Full court pressure by the Cyclones. Freeze ahead to Kleidosti. Passes tips to take it by Mass. Over goes to Freeze. Now in the corner. That's Thompson. Mass will give it up to Kleidosti. To Beach. Actually goes to Freeze. Takes the three. Drives the baseline. Runner no good. Carroll rebounds. Here come the Cyclones in a hurry. They don't have the numbers. Beef able to shoot back outside to Carroll. Carroll to McCullough, takes the long three, takes it into the lane, passes tipped, it'll go out of bounds, and staying with Ottawa at the 3.02 mark. He's the inbound, left of the Cyclone basket. And it comes to Schaefer, he'll swing it outside to Carroll. Now to McCullough, pull up three by Isaac, good. Three triples early for McCullough, and the Cyclones lead by 14, 18 to four. Beach, long pass ahead to Mass. Get pass over to Thompson. He rolls it down in the corner. Now here's a fierce steal by Beach. Eh? Beach maintaining control. Right side, whistle, and a foul call on Ottawa. Carroll picks up the personal foul. It's his first and the team's second. Substitution. Rickard comes back in. Also in the lineup is Caldwell. Song Oxy the inbound near the offensive corner right side. And it comes to Caldwell. Caldwell nearly threw it away, but Thompson got the hits on it and corralled it. Now Caldwell. Schaefer on him. Left side, Rickard. Rickard to Beach, right wing. Beach looking to penetrate. He'll drive in, give it off to Thompson near the corner. 2.15 to play in the first period. Ottawa up 18 to 4. Rickard pull up three, right side. Misses everything. McCullough will save it into the hands of Carroll. Carroll again in a hurry. Here's an alley pass to Deal off his hands. Taken by Schaefer. He is stripped and fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Foul called against Rickard. Caleb Schaefer with a couple of free throws here. First one is good. Chris Johnson back in. He'll replace McCullough for the Cyclones. This Ottawa team is deep. This may be the deepest Ottawa high team we've seen in quite some time. The two years team two years ago was pretty deep as well. Second free throw good by Schaefer. Ottawa leaves it 20 to 4. Beach across the 10 second line. Vite giving him a little bit of room. Popping out is Caldwell. Goes left side Thompson. Thompson swings it over to Mass. Now right side to Beach. Got a pick. Drives the baseline. Scoop shot is good. Bethay, far sideline, along the baseline, Johnson, Chris, back out to Bethay. Into the post, it goes to Deal. Deal tried to dish to Schaefer instead of taking the shot himself, and the pass was stolen. Here's a pass ahead to Caldwell, into the lane, all the way to the bucket, and it's blocked out of bounds. And at 19 to go, first period, Ottawa leads 20 to 6. Beach off the inbound looking for somebody and will finally get it in to Mass. Mass finds a cutter, but the pass is knocked away by Carroll and a seal. Here's Carroll driving, dishes off the Johnson layup. Good. Oh, what a free pass by Carroll and a nice run of the court by Chris Johnson that time. Far sideline, Rickard. Under a minute to play, first period. Thompson with it. Near the sidelines, nearly stolen by Bethe, but taken by Beach. Beach into the lane, stolen by Carroll. Here comes Carroll again. He'll take it the length of the court, laid up on the left hand. No good, but a whistle and a foul. Chieftain 
foul will be whistled against Mac Thompson. It's his second. First of two free throws for Carroll. No good. Drew Bay will come in for Ottawa. Wydowski will check back in for Tong and Oxy. Second free throw is good by Carroll, and now McCullough will replace him. Carroll, four points now, 23-6 Cyclones, 42 seconds to go in quarter number one. Pass comes ahead to Rickard, far sideline. Now to Caldwell out near midcourt, left side Klydowski. Swings it around the perimeter to Thompson. Thompson bounces left side to Rickard. Rickard to Beach with 23 on the clock. Beach looking to penetrate. They cut him off. Caldwell near the Tonganoxy cheering section. Rickard and now to Klydowski and back into Beach's hands with 10 on the clock. Eight, seven, Beach to Thompson. Pass taken now by Caldwell. Off it goes to Beach. Beach has got to hurry. He'll throw the runner off the glass. No good. And that's the end of the first quarter. At the end of one, it's Ottawa 23 and Tonganoxy 6. We're back in a minute. And you're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. This is Dr. Sherry Jung of Ottawa Chiropractic Clinic. If you find yourself taking prescription medications or even over-the-counter meds on a regular basis, then you may need our help. Chiropractic care has been shown to be one of the best sources for correction of many types of headaches, including migraines. Get to the cause of your problem. Call Ottawa Chiropractic at 242-4100. This is Eric Crowley with Advantage Electric. On the court, teams look for any advantage they can get. When it comes to your electric needs, whether residential, commercial, or custom, we're your advantage. Advantage Electric, 229 North Main in Ottawa. Call today at 785 718-1218. Ottawa leads it 23-6 to at the end of one here. Final from the Paola Invitational, Panther Invitational. Boys basketball, Eudora beat Paola tonight for third place, 59-51. to Here is 23-6 to Ottawa. Nine points for Isaac McCullough, six for Drew Bones for the Cyclones. Here's a lady score... Lewisburg at the end of one, Lee Banderson County 12 to 10. At the end of three, Iola's girls are leading West Franklin 34 to 20. It'll be Tonganoxie's ball to start the second period, moving from the right to the left. Ottawa sends out their starting five. Underway here, Beach with the basketball. Mason Beach goes in the corner to Rickard. Rickard, cross court pass taken by Eric Neese, who's in the lineup for the first time tonight. Now Clydosti. Clydosti left side, Beach. Beach looking for somebody moving, and here's a whistle to foul. Drew Bones will be whistled. His first, and team foul number three. Lydossi inbounds to Beach. Off it goes to Lydossi. He's open for the free throw line and swishes it. First points for Lydossi. Carroll slowly into front court. Takes it right. Dishes off to McCullough. McCullough, look, drive wasn't there. Now Carroll right side. McCullough now top to Johnson. Swings it around to Bethe. Bethe looking for a backdoor cut. Instead, we'll take it to left wing. Off it goes, free throw line to Bones. To Johnson, top of the circle. Chris, sniping in, is off to McCullough. Now to Bethe. Bethe all the way to the bucket. Foul called. And it'll be whistled against Dakota Gray, who's in the lineup for the first time. Actually, the foul will be called against Clyde Osti. First of two free throws for Bife is good. His first point of the night. 
Cyclones 24, Chieftains 8 with 6.58 to play in the first half. Don't forget we'll have our Advantage Electric halftime here this evening at the end of the second period. Second free throw is good to make it 25-8. to eight. Beach to the midcourt stripe. And ball's knocked away. It's on the floor. And finally controlled by the Chieftain. Driving is... A Chieftain is stolen by Carroll. Behind the back dribble. Carroll, the length of the court. Dishes inside beats eight. Put two men in the air. Now needs to do something with it. Gets it out to McCullough. To Carroll for three from the corner. Good. There's Beach. Bouncing it. Stolen by Bone. Ahead comes Carroll. Three on three. Carroll dishes off to McCullough. Pull up three. Right wing. Switch. And timeout called for by Tonganoxie. 6-12 to play in the first half. It's Ottawa 31, Tonganoxie 8. We're back. In one minute, you're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. At State Farm, our goal is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. This is State Farm Agent Keith King in Ottawa. Let me help you protect what's most important to you. Give my office a call at 785-242-9435 or stop by at 111 South Main Street in Ottawa. Bones Transportation has been a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. They wish the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. Community journalism is thriving at the Ottawa Herald. Three days a week in print and every day online, the Herald's award-winning staff covers the news that matters to you. Breaking news, sports, events, and so much more. Just as the Herald has done for more than 140 years. Call 242-4700 to subscribe today or find us online at www.ottawaherald.com on Facebook or download our app. Cyclones on an 8-2 run to start the second period, lead it by 23, 6-12 to go in the half. Freeze has the basketball back in the Tonganoxie lineup. Over it goes to Nice. Now between the circles, Caldwell. Freeze being guarded by Carroll. Carroll's had a good defensive night already here. Now Thompson near the Ottawa bench. Thompson is up to Caldwell. Right side, Freeze. Freeze. Out it goes. Here's a drive by Neath. Gives it up for a three by Thompson. No good off the heel of the rim. Tips around. Controlled by Gray. Gray backs it out now to Caldwell. Over it goes to Neath. Caldwell between the circles. Free throw line to Gray. Gray hands off to Thompson. Thought about a three. Didn't take it. Thompson picks up his dribble. Goes to Caldwell near sideline. Off it goes to Freeze now. Freeze looking things over. Reverses his dribble. Cut off by Bones. Nice job by Bones on the double team. Over it goes now to Thompson. Into the lane. Now bounces to Nice. It will give and go to Gray. Shoots. Blocked from behind by Bones. And taken out there by Ottawa. Carroll off to Bisse right side. Back it goes to Carroll. Perry spins. Sticks it off to Johnson. Johnson along the baseline, floater no good, but Bones with the rebound, had it blocked, picked up finally by Johnson. Off it goes to McCullough, long three, around the rim and out. This time controlled by Freeze of Tonganoxi. Caldwell, skip pass, taken by Thompson, he lost it off his hand, and Johnson tried to save it, but he was stepped on the end line. Ball will stay with the Chieftains, 4.36 to play in the half, Ottawa up 31-8. And it comes to Freeze. Freeze finds Gray. He'll shoot over Bones. Miss. Tipped around. Taken by Knees inside. His shot off the glass is good. Knees with the offensive putback. His first two of the night. 31 to 10 Cyclones. Carroll. Makes it right. Being given lots of room by Freeze. Off to Bise. Bise. Looking things over. Now Bones hands off to Johnson. Johnson in the lane, all the way to the bucket. He'll be fouled. Fouls whistled against Gray. 
First personal fourth team foul. Chris Johnson at the line for two. Free throw, no good. Cyclones will send substitutes in. Deal and Bay check into the lineup. For Tonganoxie, Rickard Beach, and Mast. Johnson's second one rattles out. Rebound taken by Mass for the Chieftain. Beach is off to Rickard. Rickard hopping out is Mass. Johnson's on him. Otto has been in the man to man the entire night. Here's a pass inside, tips away, and it goes out of bounds. They tried to force it inside, and now Thompson will check back in for Tong and Oxy. And Ethan Rowe will see his first action for Ottawa. Beach gets it in to Mass. Now he's skipping around to Thompson. He'll drive. Floater is partially blocked. McCullough comes away with it. Far sideline, Carroll. Carroll to McCullough. McCullough. On the dribble, the deal left wing, out top at Bay. Bay, right side row, thought about a three, didn't take it. Over the corner, deal. Cooper holding it high overhead, finds Rowe in the post. Out it goes to Carroll for three, and it's good. Excellent ball movement that time by the Cyclones. Carroll with 10, and the Cyclones lead it 34 to 10. There's a fake by Caldwell. He'll drive into the lane and score there on the runner. First points for Chandler Caldwell. Carroll near the Tonganoxie bench. Off to Rowe. Rowe bounces in the post, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by the Chieftain. He's trying to find Deal inside. I think Ottawa was fortunate that wasn't a turnover. McCullough will inbound. Out high goes to Carroll. Pull up three. Missed miss is short. Rebound to Thompson. Up court, Beach. Beach driving, fishing. Rickard on the drive. Floater, no good. Rebound, Cyclones. Bay. Up court with a right hand dribble. Off to McCullough. Fakes the three. Gives to Bay. Bay drives the baseline into the lane. Had it partially blocked, but he was also fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Caldwell will pick. Will pick up the foul. That's his first. Bay has scored this evening. Shooting two shots here. Free throw too hard. 2.20 to play in the half. Ottawa leads by 22. Second free throw is good. Beach up court for Ottawa. Off it goes to Caldwell. Free throw line, Mast. Mast gets it back to Caldwell. Jumper from 15, no good. And it's going to be controlled by Ottawa. Up court, Carroll, near sideline. Perry on the dribble. Looks for penetration. Takes it in the lane. Gives it off to Deal. Deal missed the shot, though. Rebound, Bay inside. And Bay back up and in. Cyclones hit the offensive glass that time. And got it. Got the bucket from Bay, who now has three. Minute 41 to play in the half. There's Beach driving around Bay, finding an open call. A mess inside, but it's blocked from behind by Dio, and Ottawa back the other direction. Carroll outside the arc on the right wing. Looking to avoid the double team. Drives in the lane, finds Deal. Deal was stripped of the basketball, though, and pulled away by Thompson. Thompson back the other direction. Pass down court to Beach. Beach looking to drive, but Carroll staying right with him. Now here's a cross-court pass to Caldwell to the free throw line. He'll find Beach. Beach turns. Check that. I'm sorry. That is Thompson, who missed the shot. Rebound to Rowe. McCullough will bring it up this time. McCullough. Deal the lane to the bucket. Score it. 14 for McCullough. Cyclones up 39 to 12. 
48 seconds to play in the half. Off it goes to Thompson. Whistle. Holding foul on Pella. His first personal, only the fourth team foul. And the Cyclones are going to send Sutton in here for this last 39 seconds. We'll see Bryce Wiggins, Chris Johnson, Kobe Johnson, and Zane Mule. Bay is also out there with those four. Rickard. Rickard looks. Off it goes to Beach. Beach out near midcourt. Tonganoxie working for one last shot here, it would appear. Thompson off the hands of Clyde Osney, and it goes out of bounds. Turnover number six on the Chieftains. Bay now runs the point. In the corner, Wiggins. Wiggins drives baseline, and he stepped on the end line for a turnover. Only the third Cyclone turnover of the night unofficially. 14 seconds to play before halftime. Don't forget, we have the Advantage Electric Halftime Show here in just a few seconds. Thompson. Over it goes to Rickard. Rickard driving. Off it goes to Fly Dossie for three. Too hard. Say one second. Three-quarter court shot is no good. And we're at the half. Cyclones lead it 39 to 12 over Tong and Oxy. And we're back with the Advantage Electric Halftime Show after this two-minute break. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Whether you're building or remodeling, you want your project to be unique to you. Eric Crowley of Advantage Electric can help. Something recently we've started is custom lighting. Making custom lights, I've noticed it's a it's a new trend. Not everybody wants the big, you know, box light fixtures that you can buy. Everybody's looking for something eclectic nowadays and, and new and, 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 a, and a conversation piece. Your ideas come to life. Anything and everything that you could think of that you could possibly make a light fixture out of, we could certainly do it. Advantage Electric, 229 North Main. Call 418-1218. Quality Structures Incorporated in Richmond is proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast. They know experience matters on the court and when it comes to your building needs. Visit qualitystructures.com and let them put their years of experience in constructing post-frame buildings to work for you. People's Bank in Ottawa is proud to support our area sports teams. From People's Bank Field at Ottawa University to our Bucks for Buckets promotion and more, we believe our local sports programs are an investment in our future. Best of luck to all the teams from all of us at People's Bank. Member FDIC. The City of Ottawa proudly supports the student-athletes at Ottawa High School and wishes the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Find information about City events, bill paying, or current employment opportunities by visiting online at ottawaks.gov. Smart Ottawa shoppers know Costantino's Price Chopper has the best rewards program in town. Only Price Chopper lets you earn points on all your purchases. Visit mypricechopper.com and start saving on food or fuel today. Shop Costantino's, your local family-owned grocer since 1948. Eric Price and his staff at the Lamb Roberts Funeral Homes are proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast and honored to help so many families in the community with compassionate care when it's needed most. Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Ottawa, Baldwin City, and Overbrook. Kramer Pharmacy, downtown Ottawa, hopes you're enjoying this KOFO sports broadcast and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. Call Kramer Pharmacy today and ask about their convenient MedSync program that allows you to have all your prescriptions filled at the same time each month. Call 242-2055. And welcome to the Advantage Electric Halftime Show here on KOFO. Ottawa leads 39-12. to 12. Whether you're building or remodeling, residential or commercial, get the electric advantage for your project with an Advantage Electric 229 North Main, call 418-1218. Good first half for Ottawa High. They jumped out quickly in this one. They led 23-6 to six at the end of one quarter. They lead here at the half, 39-12. to 12. Earlier tonight, the Lady Cyclones dropped a 62-38 to 38 decision to Tong and Oxy to fall to 0-2 on the year. Ottawa jumped out quickly in this ball game. They led 10-2 to 2 early. The Tong and Oxy chipped away at that lead and tied it at the end of one quarter and then took the lead early in the second period and never trailed after that. Taylor Lee poured in 40 points for the Lady Chieftains. Big night for Ryan White. She finished with 25, and she was in serious foul trouble throughout 
the latter parts of the first half and all through the third period as she picked up her fourth foul early in the third quarter. Cyclones now 0-2 on the season with Topeka West coming up on Tuesday night at home. Here's some scores that we have for you tonight. Uh, previous girls fell to Drexel 45-26. All finals, by the way. Lewisburg's boys 75, Anderson County 49. West Franklin boys 61, Osawatomie 32. Uh, Baldwin's girls 71, uh, Burlington 46. Dora's boys 59, Paola 51. Iola's girls beat West Franklin 44 to 29. Here's the half, 39 to 12. Ottawa with the lead. Back after this two-minute break, you're listening to the Advantage Electric Halftime Show on KOFO. Performance Electric in Ottawa is a locally owned company offering you solutions for residential, commercial, farm electrical needs, whether it's a new build, remodel, or service job. Call 242-5748. This is Ryan Disborough, your State Farm Insurance agent in Garnett, providing insurance and financial services, including retirement options, bank loans, life insurance, and annuities. Call and schedule your financial services consultation today at 785-448-1660. When quality matters, choose the best. Choose Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. Call today and make sure your heating and cooling system is ready for the season at 785-242-9273. Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, maintaining your comfort for over 30 years. Bones Transportation has been a family-owned and operated trucking company in Ottawa for over 50 years and a longtime supporter of Ottawa Cyclone Athletics. They wish the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Bones Transportation in South Ottawa. Anyone can call themselves a construction company, slap a sign on the side of their truck, and drive around town looking for work. Is that who you want to hire? No, you're smarter than that. Wise Guys Construction at 108 North Main in Ottawa has been in business for 13 years, building new residential homes, adding additions and finishing basements, solving commercial structure needs for businesses, and repairing damage left behind from fire or water. When it comes to who you hire for residential and commercial construction needs, be wise. Call Wise Guys Construction at 785-529-5651. Ransom Memorial Hospital Cancer Care, your cancer-fighting team, is open and accepting patients. For a personalized care experience, call 785-229-8203, online at ransom.org or at 1301 South Main Street, Ottawa. RMH Cancer Care, close to home, close to your heart. Searching for that perfect gift for someone? How about for yourself? This holiday season, spend your dollars wisely on something that lasts and gives back year after year after year. Shop Messengers Home Furnishings for furniture, bedding, and accessories right now during their holiday sale in South Ottawa. Halftime here at Tonganox, the Ottawa boys leading 39-12. to 12. Taking a look at the scoring for Tonganox, four points for Mac Thompson, and then two apiece for Dylan Clydossi, Mason Beach, Eric Knees, and Chandler Caldwell. Ottawa got 14 in the first half from Isaac McCullough. Barry Carroll had 10. Six for Drew Bones, all within the first couple of minutes of the ball game. Three for Drew Bay, two for Davion Bife, Chris Johnson, and Caleb Schaefer. Ottawa turned it over three times in the first half. Tonganasi had seven first-half turnovers. Cyclones were 7 of 11 from the free-throw line. Tonganasi did not shoot a free-throw in the first half of play. And nobody in a serious foul trouble. Mac Thompson, the only player with two. And the Cyclones with the 39-12 to 12 advantage here at the half. I want to remind you once again... We have a big Ottawa University doubleheader tomorrow from Wilson Fieldhouse as the Lady Braves and Braves men will take on the Tabor Blue Jays. It's a 3 o'clock tip for the ladies. The guys will tip it off at 5. Our coverage begins with the Wise Guys Construction Braves pregame show at 2.40 tomorrow afternoon with David Potter. Ottawa and Tabor basketball tomorrow afternoon on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM. Again, the score at the half is 39-12. to 12. Ottawa leads Tonganoxie, and we want to thank you for being with us here for the Advantage Electric Cyclone Halftime Show on KOFO. Whether you're building or remodeling, residential or commercial, get the electric advantage for your project with Advantage Electric 229 North Main. Call them at 418-1218. We're back in two minutes. This is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. 17 locations, unlimited golf, unlimited summertime swimming, family membership for one monthly price. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, that's just what you'll get at Great Life Golf and Fitness in Ottawa. 
Call 242-3734 or stop by at 1001 East Logan and find out how you can get started today. Eric Price and his staff at the Lamb Roberts Funeral Homes are proud to sponsor this KOFO sports broadcast and honored to help so many families in the community with compassionate care when it's needed most. Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Ottawa, Baldwin City, and Overbrook. Kramer Pharmacy, downtown Ottawa, hopes you're enjoying this KOFO sports broadcast and wishes all the area teams good luck this season. Call Kramer Pharmacy today and ask about their convenient MedSync program that allows you to have all your prescriptions filled at the same time each month. Call 242-2055. People's Bank in Ottawa is proud to support our area sports teams. From People's Bank Field at Ottawa University to our Bucks for Buckets promotion and more, we believe our local sports programs are an investment in our future. Best of luck to all the teams from all of us at People's Bank. Member FDIC. At State Farm, our goal is to help people manage the risks of everyday life, recover from the unexpected, and realize their dreams. This is State Farm Agent Keith King in Ottawa. Let me help you protect what's most important to you. Give my office a call at 785-242-9435 or stop by at 111 South Main Street in Ottawa. This is Dr. Weston Zinner at Franklin County Chiropractic in Ottawa. We hope you're enjoying the game and remind you that whether you're an athlete or a weekend warrior, we can help relieve your pain for a better performance. Call 785-242-9393 for an appointment. Don't you wish gift shopping was as easy as one, two, three? It is at Sutton's Jewelry. Introducing the Sutton's Love List. One, invite your loved one to stop in. Two, we'll make a list of his or her favorites, and three, we'll share it with you, and you'll give the best Christmas gift ever this holiday season. We'll also include free gift wrapping. Sutton's Jewelry, making your gift shopping as easy as 123 at 207 South Main. Well, teams down to the locker room, Tom and Oxy in there a long time, and I'm sure that uh, David Hillman wanted to talk to his team about what happened in that first half. Ottawa put up 39 points on the Chieftains. And Tong and Oxy really maybe even more so than the problem with the 39 points that Ottawa scored. They only put 12 up with their own. Cyclones were swarming defensively. Seven turnovers unofficially, but they really uh, had a good defensive first half. And it'll be Ottawa's ball coming into the third period, moving from the right to the left as we see it. Again, Isaac McCullough leads the Cyclones with 14. Perry Carroll also in double figures with 10. Those two out there along with Drew Bones, Chris Johnson, and Davion Bethe, Keaton Rickard, Mason Beach, Mac Thompson, Michael Mast, and Chandler Caldwell for Tong and Oxy. Second half ready to get underway. And here we go. Carroll in the front court. Hopping out is Johnson right side. Johnson high post to Bones. Left side, Carroll. Carroll bounces to Bones. Bones takes it in, shoots, and scores. I tell you what, you just cannot double team the Cyclones too awful much. Drew Bones is capable of scoring on the inside. He's got eight tonight. Far sideline, Thompson out top, Rickard. Rickard looking, giving up to Beach. Beach holds it high overhead in the corner. Thompson dumps in the post. Shot misses short by Mass, but got it back and scores. Check that. That's not Mass. That is Gray. Good pass over to McCullough. Near sideline near the Ottawa bench. He'll drive the lane. Be fouled. And I think it's going to be on Thompson. It'll be his third. No, they're going to call the foul on Beach. That was away from the basketball, evidently. Bethe will get it into Carroll. Carroll, stripped of the basketball. That whistled a foul on Bones. Cyclones turn it over. Bones commits his second foul. Up court Beach, far sideline Thompson, get pass over to Rickard. Here's Gray with it, just inside the circle. Gray to the free throw line, off to Beach. Now to Thompson, far sideline Rickard. Rickard picked up his dribble. To Beach, finds a wide open Gray inside, and Gray will score. 
They lost, lost track of Gray. Gray with four points now. Here's Carroll, nearly losing it on the fancy dribble. Vite, Ottawa bench to Johnson inside, and Chris Johnson with a nice move to the bucket scores. He's got four on the night. 43-16 Cyclones inside six and a half to play third period. Beach, Vite on him, now to Rickard. High post to Gray. Gray stops, gives it up. Three-point try by Caldwell. Misses well short. Ottawa didn't go after the basketball, and it cost him as Chris Johnson will commit a foul. Johnson just kind of stood around after that shot did not go toward the basket. The ball came back out high. Chandler beat him, or Caldwell beat him to it, and Johnson with the foul, his first. On the inbound, it's Beach. Out top, Caldwell. Caldwell gives off to Thompson. Now out top, Rickard. Now the Beach left side. Beach looking to drive. Takes the baseline. Kicks it cross court. Pass knocked out of bounds by Carroll. Cyclones up 43 to 16. Earlier, the Lady Cyclones dropping a 62 38 decision to Tonganoxie. And it comes to Gray. He finds Caldwell driving to the basket. Oh, I don't know how he got that shot off, but he did. He rolls it in. Nice move by Caldwell to the hole. Caldwell with four. Here's Carroll. Pull up three. Misses. Rebound run down by Beach. Beach pushing it ahead. Near the corner, it's Rickard. Rickard. Off it goes to Caldwell. Caldwell back into the hands of Beach. I don't know if this is the defense reset. Ball on the baseline. Ball is off the foot of Gray and out of bounds. Turnover number eight on the Chieftains. Vite with the basketball. Maybe I'm looking to penetrate. And a whistle and a foul on Beach. Blocking foul. Beach will pick up his second. Team foul number two. Freeze is going to check in for the Chieftains. Beach will come out. And it comes to McCullough. Out near midcourt, Carroll. Kong and Oxy playing a man-to-man here in the second half. Here's Deep saying looking to penetrate. Wasn't there. Now McCullough picked up his dribble. Flips it out to Johnson. Chris on the move. Had his shot blocked. And Gray comes away with it. Now a steal by Ottawa. Here's McCullough driving. He laid in. Good steal by Bethe. He fits to McCullough for the lay-in. And it's 45-18. to 18. Out top Gray. Gray to Rickard. Rickard bounces in the corner to Caldwell. Caldwell looking for movement. Gets it back outside to Thompson. Thompson, left side freeze. Stops inside the circle. Finds Gray at the free throw line. Gets pass over to Rickard. Rickard drives the baseline. Cut off nicely by Carroll. Here's Gray along the baseline right side. Back out right wing to Rickard. Over it goes to Freeze. Now between the circles, Thompson. Thompson gives it up to Gray, top of the key. Gray to Freeze. And now to Caldwell to Thompson. Along the baseline, runner no good, but Ottawa foul. The Cyclones probably should have been called for a technical foul right there, and there it is. Cyclones bang the ball off the court on the foul, and that's almost an automatic technical. I don't know which Cyclone did that. We'll have a shooting foul, we'll have a technical foul, and then Tong and Oxy will get the basketball. So a chance for as many as seven points here. Bones with the foul. That they called the foul, the technical foul on somebody who wasn't in the game, I don't think, or was it on Thompson? Maybe Thompson bounced the ball that way. Thompson hits the first of the two free throws. Bones picks up his third personal. 
Second free throw for Thompson is no good. And so now it was the technical foul was on Thompson. Is that correct? Was Thompson the one that bounded the ball? Threw the ball down that way? Wow. I didn't see what actually happened. Somebody bounced that ball really high off the floor, and they say it was Mac Thompson. Referees are talking about it. I have to be honest, I didn't see who did it. I think the Tonganoxi felt like one of the Cyclones did that. Referee still talking things over. And now they come back over to the scorer's table. Now they do say the technical foul was on Bones. And I thought, from what I saw, that's who did that. So now Thompson with two more technical foul shots here. Hits the first. He has six on the game now. Substitutions for Tong and Oxy. They'll send in Knees and Mast. Ottawa counters with Deal and Rowe. Thompson's second free throw good. And the Chieftains will have the basketball at midcourt. And it comes to Freeze. Thompson, far sideline. In the circles, Caldwell. Near sideline to Freeze. Freeze, couple bounces. Gives it up to Nice. Near the corner, Thompson. Trying to post up down low, but it's not there. So I have to go back outside to Thompson. 337 to play in the period. Now Freeze with it. Freeze. Top of the circle, Caldwell. Fine, obviously being very patient here. Knees to the baseline, cut off. Oh, he finds Caldwell open underneath. That's a double dribble call. Caldwell didn't realize his own fortune right there, his own good fortune, and he put the ball on the floor a second time. Got a substitution. Bay will check in for Ottawa, and Bethay will come out. 45-20 Cyclones. Carroll brings it up court. Brings it left. Hands off to McCullough. McCullough looks to avoid the double team. Reverses his dribble. Tries to find Rowe. Rowe had to run it down after it was tipped. Now Carroll and a whistle and a foul. Freeze will pick up the personal foul. It's his first. Team foul number three. Rowe bounces it into McCullough. Gets a pick from Deal. Looks to penetrate. Not there. Now looks to penetrate again. Now floats it. Missed it. Rebound. Controlled inside by Deal. And Cooper missed the shot. Tried to follow. That won't go. Rowe tried to follow. Deal got it back. And with this whistle. And we'll have a foul on Tonganoxie. Well, Cyclones hit the offensive glass. They just couldn't get the shot to fall. This one's on Michael Mast. Non-shooting foul, so Bay will inbound right of the Cyclone basket. Here comes to McCullough. McCullough, little jump hook, good. 18 and 9 for McCullough. Cyclones lead at 47 to 20. We're at 240 to play, third period. Here the scorer's table, Thompson. Now to Caldwell. Now top freeze. Freeze. Looking for a backdoor cut. It wasn't there. Thompson right wing. Thompson. Cross court pass to Caldwell. Caldwell driving. Lost control of the ball. And a foul on Ottawa. Whistled on Bay. For Drew with his first of the 
game. And team foul number five, I believe. Here comes Rickard, Beach, Clydosti, and Gray. So four new faces in for Tonganasi. That is five team fouls on the Cyclones. Beach risking a five-second call. Finally got it in to Clydosti. Over it goes to Rickard. Right side to Nice. Nice, Beach. Now Clydosti. Clydosti gets past Beach, right wing. He skips it right back out to Nice, who shoots it for three and missed it badly. Rebound to Rowe. Up court comes Bay. Bay looks things over, backs it out. Still on the dribble. Here's Rowe for three. Got it. Ethan Rowe with the triple. His first points on the night. Cyclones 50, Chieftains 20. We have a minute 42 to play, third period. Record a couple bounces. Still on the dribble. Near sideline it goes to Beach and a holding foul inside on Ottawa High. This one whistled against Ethan Rowe. And substitutions for the Cyclones. Schaefer, Wiggins, and Mule. Those three out there along with Rowe and Deal. Free throw line, Clydosti off the beach. Beach almost traveled with it. Here's Clydosti to Rickard in the corner. That is Thompson, didn't have anything, so he backs it out. Clydosti to Rickard, open for three, missed it well short. Rebound controlled though by Beach. Thompson on the right wing. Whistle away from the ball and a foul against Tonganoxie. This one's on Dakota Gray. It's his second. It's also the 11th turnover of the night on the Chiefs. 102 to play, third period. Cyclones up 30. Wiggins now runs the point. Rice will take it right. Now reverse it. Takes it the other direction. Let's to penetrate, takes it in, he's double teamed, backs it out to Rowe. Rowe drives to the hole, lost control of it, got it back. Deal finally tried to get control it, and now we finally have a steal by the Chieftain. 37 seconds to play in the period. Thompson bounces far sideline to Rickard. Rickard out top Gray. Gray. To Beach, looking for a pick now. There's a cross-court pass. Clydosti for three, good. Dylan Clydosti has five. Cyclones can work for one shot here. Wiggins, out it goes to Rowe. Rowe, one dribble. Backdoor cut to Schaefer, but he overthrew the pass, and it goes out of bounds with 4.7 on the clock. Try to get it back outside for a three-point try. So now it looks like Tonganoxie will have the last chance here and the first chance in the fourth quarter. Beach driving, throws up a runner, no good at the buzzer. At the end of three, it's Ottawa 50 and Tonganoxie 23. Fourth quarter coming up in a minute. This is Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. Need to know if your child's game or practice has been canceled due to weather? Sign up now for Ottawa Recreation Commission's text alerts. Go to orcottawaks.org to sign up or for more information. Since 1944, families of Franklin County have called Dingle and Son Mortuary and Crematory in their time of need. Why? Because of the peace of mind received knowing that Dingle and Son will take charge and exceed expectations. Visit DingleMortuary.com. The Ottawa Shopper has a new look with new features. Never miss your favorite TV show with the TV Guides. Find area church times and the popular Kids Talk About God column on the church pages. And get useful employment tips from our weekly Q&A advice column. Call 242-4700 to get your Franklin County address added to our subscription list for free or pick up the Ottawa Shopper at multiple racks around town. That's 242-4700. 
50 to 23 Cyclones. Ottawa will start the fourth period with Bethe, Carroll, McCullough, Chris Johnson, and Kobe Johnson. Caldwell, Rickard, Beach, Gray, and Thompson for the Chieftains. Underway in the fourth period. Beach on the dribble. Gives it up now to Rickard. Rickard's been held scoreless here tonight. Dumps in the post to Gray. And a whistle foul on Ottawa. Shooting foul. And it'll be whistled against Kobe Johnson. Gray with four points tonight. Shooting a couple of free throws here. First one up and no good too hard. Gray's second one, also too hard. Rebound to McCullough. He was pushed from behind. They didn't see it. Carroll off the BK. McCullough left side. Pull up three by Isaac. No good. McCullough 21 tonight. And the Cyclones lead back to 30. Left side, it goes to Rickard. Rickard backs it out. Three-point try by Caldwell. Misses. Ottawa didn't go after the rebound. Caldwell tried to follow, and a foul will be whistled on Ottawa. The Cyclones are a little bit lazy on the defensive glass here from time to time this evening. Chris Johnson's going to pick up the foul, I believe. Gray will be at the line again. Free throw, no good. And Chris Johnson rebound. Carroll brings it up court. Takes it right. Over to Kobe Johnson. Now to B. to McCullough. But takes the three. Drives to the basket. This is inside off the hands of Chris Johnson, but taken by Kobe. Now Carroll knifing through. His pass is stolen. Ottawa getting sloppy with the basketball now. Here's Beach along the near sideline, looking to penetrate. Then it goes to Gray. In the corner, Thompson. Three ball, good by Thompson. Here's McCullough. Got a pick from Bethe. Puts up his own three and cans it. Give credit to Bethe for a nice pick. McCullough has 20. Here's Beach. Off to Gray between the circles. Right side, Rickard. Rickard driving to the bucket. Floater is good. First points for Rickard. Six oh three to go, fifty six twenty eight Ottawa. Here's Johnson, Kobe. Over to goes left side to Carroll. Perry spinning. Trying to avoid Rickard. Finds Chris Johnson free throw line. Now to McCullough. Another pull up three by Isaac. No good this time. And Beach has the board. Beach on the dribble. Off it goes to Thompson. Now Caldwell. Steal by Bethe. He'll go one on one with Caldwell. He'll lay it up, and good. He's A with four. It's 58-28. Cyclones back up by 30. 5.22 to go. Thompson coming near the bench, and we'll have a timeout call. Comes with 5.12 to play. Ottawa 58, Tongan Oxy 28. Back in a minute. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. 
Hi, I'm Dalton Evans. I'm 10 years old and happy to report that I've never had a cavity. Thanks to brushing twice a day and two cleanings a year at Dr. Hale Family Dentistry. Schedule your family's appointment today by calling 242-1800. This is Ryan Disbro, your State Farm Insurance agent in Garnett, providing insurance and financial services, including retirement options, bank loans, life insurance, and annuities. Call and schedule your financial services consultation today at 785-448-1660. When quality matters, choose the best. Choose Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling. Call today and make sure your heating and cooling system is ready for the season at 785-242-9273. Adamson Brothers Heating and Cooling, maintaining your comfort for over 30 years. Have you had your car or truck service lately? This is Dr. Mike Hyatt of Ottawa Chiropractic Clinic. The same benefits apply to your body. Regular chiropractic checkups help detect and correct small problems and can help prevent them from becoming larger. Call for your checkup today. Ottawa Chiropractic Clinic, 242-4100. Fresh five out there for Ottawa now. Row, Deal, Schaefer, Bay, and Newell. Fine locks his basketball. Freeze has it. Near sideline, Beach. Trying to post up down low. Outside, Meath. Freeze, left wing. Beach out near midcourt. Right side, Clyde Osti. Out of knees. Ottawa still on the man to man. Beach driving to the basket. Had it blocked, but Ottawa whistled for a foul. Called will go against Drew Bay. Mason Beach has two points in the ballgame. Came way back in the first period. The street throw attempt here is rolling in. We have a running clock, by the way, as Ottawa got up by 30 points in the fourth period. So the clock is running. Beach hits both free throws, and now a substitution. Cody Reynolds will check in. Bay will bring it across the 10-second line. Take it right. In the right corner, Schaefer. Schaefer driving. Finds a cutting Cooper Deal. Deal shoots and misses. He's got his own rebound. Takes it back outside to Mule, who puts up a three ball. Too hard. Deal with another good rebound inside, but a shot too hard. Rowe follows. That one won't go. Schaefer's got it. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And the foul is going to be called against the Cyclones. Cooper Deal with the personal foul. And we'll go to the other end for a one and one. Who's shooting? It'll be Eric Knees. So one and one. Inside three minutes to go in the game. Ottawa leads 58 to 30. Free throw attempt is no good. Deal has the rebound. Bay looking to drive. Finds a cutter. Mule, he missed the shot. Ball tipped around. Taken by Deal. Swings it back outside to Bay. Bay. Schaefer, left wing. Long on the baseline. Deal. Deal on the dribble. Back out it goes to Rowe. Rowe. Over to Bay. Bay looking to drive, and he'll be pushed and fouled. Foul whistled against Isaiah Freeze. And it's the seventh team foul, so Bay will shoot a one and one as the clock's now under two minutes. Bryce Wiggins checks in for Schaefer. Bay's free throw misses. Run down by Deal, though. Back out it goes to Bay. Bay, row, left corner, Deal. Wiggins. Wiggins looking to penetrate. Off it goes to Bay. Out top, row. Row driving, shooting, and ripping it around and round and round and in. 
Ethan Rowe has five tonight, 60 to 30. Kleidowski, free throw line extended. It goes to Mass, back to Kleidowski. Off it goes now to Mees. Mees has his pocket picked by Wiggins, and a whistle and a foul called on Mees. Good defense by Bryce Wiggins there, and he'll go to the line to shoot a one and one. We're under a minute to play, so let's hope he gets the basketball here pretty quickly. Kobe Johnson's going to come in for Ottawa. He'll replace Deal. So Wiggins with a couple of free throws. All right, check that one and one. He missed it. Rebound to Rowe. Here's Johnson with a 15-footer. Good. So the freshman's in the book. 62-30 Cyclones. We're down to 22 seconds. Knees. Knees. Between the circles, Kledosti with 12. Now Reynolds. Reynolds, far sideline. It goes to Knees. He'll drive baseline, be cut off. Look for some help. Kledosti, three-point try, too hard, and that's your ball game. Final score here from Tonganoxie High, Ottawa 62, Tonganoxie 30. And we're back to wrap things up after this. You're listening to Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Country and 103.7 FM KOFO. The City of Ottawa proudly supports the student-athletes at Ottawa High School and wishes the Cyclone basketball teams the best of luck this season. Find information about city events, bill paying, or current employment opportunities by visiting online at ottawaks.gov. Are you planning a weekend getaway, your family's holiday break, or a sunny winter escape? Hi, I'm Jen O'Neill. And I'm Jeff Manheimer. And we're the founders of Tripping.com, the world's largest site for vacation homes and short-term rentals. On Tripping.com, you can easily search and compare vacation rentals from the world's most trusted sites, so you spend less time planning and more time relaxing. Head to Tripping.com today to find the perfect cabin, beach house, or condo for your next trip. That's T-R-I-P-P-I-N-G.com. To find the perfect place to stay, go to Tripping.com today. Sports. Information and entertainment in East Central Kansas. KOFO K279 CS Ottawa, where keeping you informed comes first. Ottawa boys moved to 2 0 with a 62 30 win over Tong and Oxy, and they took control of this game early as they jumped out to a 23 6 first quarter lead. They bumped it up to 39 to 12 at the half and got the running clock in the fourth quarter. It wasn't the prettiest of games, especially after that first period when Ottawa was clicking on all cycles, but it was effective as the Cyclones are now 2-0 and on the season. Take a look at the scoring. Song and Oxy was led by Max Thompson with nine, five for Dylan Kleidowski, four points for Mason Beach. Dakota Gray also had four, as did Chandler Caldwell, and then two points apiece for Keaton Rickard and Eric Mead. Cyclones were led by Isaac McCullough. He finished with 24. Gary Carroll, the only other double-figure scorer, he had 10 all in the first half. Eight for Drew Bones on the night. Ethan Rowe had five. Four for Devion Bethe and Chris Johnson. Three points for Drew Bay and two for Caleb Schaefer and Kobe Johnson. Cyclones are back in action on Tuesday night, home to take on the Topeka West Chargers. Six o'clock ladies tip. The guys will follow it around 7.30. We'll be on the air at about 5.50 or so with our Wise Guys Construction Cyclone pregame show. So the two teams split the doubleheader. Tong and Oxy wins the girls game 62-38. to Ottawa gets revenge in the boys game 62-30. to And this is Gary Bateman saying so long from Tong and Oxy High School. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Ottawa Cyclone Basketball on 103.7 FM, 1220, and KOFO.com. Brought to you by Modern Woodman Agent Dale Pearson, Dale Family Dentistry, Kansas State Bank, Adams and Brothers Heating and Cooling, Ottawa Recreation Commission, and by State Farm Insurance Agent Keith King, Ransom Memorial Hospital, Sutton's Jewelry, Franklin County Chiropractic, Carstar, Messengers Home Furnishing. Also by Dingle and Sun Mortuary, the Ottawa Herald, Wise Guys Construction, People's Bank. Ottawa Cyclone Basketball is also being brought to you by Ryan Dispro State Farm Insurance, Kramer Pharmacy, 
Ottawa Chiropractic, Performance Electric, Bones Transportation, and by Lamb Roberts Funeral Home, Dale's Body Shop, the City of Ottawa, Costantino's Price Chopper, Maxwell Chiropractic, Quality Structures Incorporated, and Great Life Golf and Fitness, Advantage Electric, and Remax Connections Agent Neva Smith. For more information about our next Ottawa Cyclone basketball broadcast, visit our website at KOFO.com and listen on air for the KOFO Sports Calendar. This has been an exclusive presentation from your sports source for East Central Kansas, KOFO. This holiday season, give yourself the gift of unlimited with Sprint's Unlimited Freedom Plan. Enjoy unlimited mobile-optimized streaming videos, gaming, music, and data starting at $20 per month per line for a family of five when you bring your number to Sprint. It's the best price for unlimited. You'll never have to worry about running out of data or surprise overage charges again. All on a network that is within 1% reliability of Verizon and AT&T and is better than T-Mobile. So go ahead, watch all your favorite holiday movies and download all your favorite cookie recipes. Don't let a 1% difference limit your freedom. Live unlimited. Dash to a Sprint store, Sprint.com slash freedom, or call 1-800-SPRINT-1 today. Includes lines 3 through 5 free until 131.18 after pay additional $30 per month per line. Prices with auto pay coverage and offer not everywhere for discounted phones. Subject to credit and $30 activation fee. Excludes taxes, surcharges, roaming, and premium content. Limited for video up to 480p. Music up to 500 kilobits per second and games up to 2 megabits per second. Prohibited network use rules apply and data to prioritization during congestion or liability claim based on third-party data restrictions apply. Every year, guys open their holiday presents and you hear, no, really? I love it. That's because finding the perfect gift for guys is hard, really hard. Thankfully, this year, there's Harry's. Guys everywhere have been flocking to harrys.com to change the way they shave. This holiday season, impress the guys on your list with a Harry's Holiday Shave Set. All of their holiday shave sets include the finely crafted razors they've become known for, guaranteed to give them the close, comfortable shave he deserves. On top of that, the shave sets also include Harry's highly rated shaving cream, extra blades, and more. Harry's is the gift he'll actually use. And Harry's owns their own factory, so they're able to make high-quality shaving supplies incredibly affordable. You can get Harry's Holiday Shave Sets for every guy on your list this year. You can even add engraved initials to make it more personal. So head over to harrys.com to get him the gift he'll truly love. Use the code 8282 when you check out, and you'll even get $5 off your first purchase. That's harrys.com, code 8282. I'm Nick Soboleski, a select quote agent with a true story that could save you hundreds of dollars a year. A woman named Linda just called. Her husband, Ray, has a $300,000 group life insurance policy, but is changing jobs and can't take it with him. Well, I impartially shopped the highly rated term life insurance companies we represent and found Ray, who is 41 and takes medication to control his cholesterol, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $26 a month. That's almost twice the coverage for less than half of what he had paid. If SelectQuote hasn't shopped for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 1-800-467-0664. That's 1-800-467-0664. 1-800-467-0664. Or go to SelectQuote.com. We shop. You save. Get full details on the example policy at slowquote.com slash commercials. Your price can vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors not available in all states. Now with your American Express card, it's extra special to shop small at local stores because today you can earn even more rewards. Now through December 31st, eligible American Express card members can earn more rewards when they shop small in their neighborhood. Learn more and enroll your card today at AmericanExpress.com. Prepaid and corporate cards, cards issued by other financial institutions, the Plum Card, and certain other cards are not eligible. Reward cap and other terms apply. You heard it at the holiday party. A cough. A big, loud, juicy cough. Then Cheryl coughed all over the luncheon. Who else saw that? Apparently no one, because one by one, they're a feverish mess. But when it comes your way, you're ready, because you got a flu shot at Rite Aid, where they care about you and your health. So while they spend their holidays sniffling at Santa, you'll be tasting every flavor in Grandma's stuffing. Mmm. It's not too late. Shield yourself with a flu shot from Rite Aid. It's free with most insurance and no appointments necessary. Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. Flu vaccines available while supplies last. Age restrictions apply in some states. See pharmacy for details. It's Macy's One Day Sale. Saturday. With a preview day Friday. With amazing deals of the day store wide. Save 60%. On IZOD sweaters for him. And Style & Co sweaters for her. Take 30%. Plus an extra 15%. Off blenders. Juicers. And food processors. Wool blend and down coat for him. And 
her. Only $89.99. Family pajama and sleepwear for her. 60% off. And take 50 to 80%. I'll select fine jewelry. Earn plenty points. Green Macy's One Day Sale. Plenty. Lots of points. Lots of places. One rewards program. Savings of regular store and fairs prices. Exclusions apply. One day. I'm Dr. Travis Stork, and welcome to Congestion Questions from Simply Sailing. Susan from Hayes, Kansas says her congestion gets worse at night, and she asked, can you help me? Susan, I like to use Arm & Hammer Simply Saline before I go to bed. It's a gentle, drug-free mist that quickly flushes away nasal congestion for a better night's sleep. Got a question? Ask it at congestionquestions.com and feel better simply. Simply Saline. Flu Forecast, brought to you by Rite Aid. Here's ABC's Dr. Jennifer Ashton. If you have the flu, don't go to work. Think about it. How do you feel about a coworker who comes in and coughs all over the place? You resent them for exposing everyone else, right? The job can live without you for a day or two. So do the right thing and tell your boss, I said to stay home. ABC's Flu Forecast is brought to you by Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. To find a location near you, visit RiteAid.com. Experience entertainment unlike any other on the Strip at the Foundry inside SLS Las Vegas. The intimate live music venue features talent of the highest caliber. Upcoming acts visiting the Foundry include the first ever residency with comedic icons John Lovitz and Dana Carvey, kicking off January 6th and 7th. To purchase tickets, visit FoundryLV.com. I'm Dr. Travis Stork, and welcome to Congestion Questions from Simply Sailing. Laura from Tampa, Florida asked, I get so confused in the cold aisle, what do I choose to help with this congestion? I use Arm & Hammer Simply Saline. It's a gentle mist that flushes away nasal congestion instantly with three simple ingredients, water, salt, and pure cleansing Arm & Hammer baking soda. And you can't beat that it's drug-free. Got a question? Ask it at congestionquestions.com and feel better simply. Simply Saline. You heard it at the holiday party. A cough. A big, loud, juicy cough. Then Cheryl coughed all over the luncheon. Who else saw that? Apparently no one, because one by one, they're a feverish mess. But when it comes your way, you're ready. Because you got a flu shot at Rite Aid, where they care about you and your health. So while they spend their holidays sniffling at Santa, you'll be tasting every flavor in Grandma's stuffing. Mmm. It's not too late. Shield yourself with a flu shot from Rite Aid. It's free with most insurance and no appointments necessary. Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. Flu vaccines available while supplies last. Age restrictions apply in some states. See pharmacy for details. Your source for information and entertainment in East Central Kansas. 1220 and 103.7 FM KOFO.